Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Thursday, week in league rewards, team of the season, league un rewards are today, which is dope. It's a Thursday, one of the biggest days on foot because of the rewards and the upgrade packs, and we got to talk about market movements that we're going to see today and also kind of look into the next two or three days and talk about what we could see with ultimate team of the season as well. Some preliminary thoughts on that because that is starting to weigh on our minds a lot. We're starting to think about a lot of those things related to ultimate tots because that stuff is coming in hot in the next two days. So the first thing I want to talk about today is just kind of go over what happened yesterday really quickly uh, with the content. Of course, Wednesdays, we've been getting the guaranteed SBCs, which did not change this week. We did get guaranteed SBCs, the League Gun and the MLS. They required an 86 rated squad with a TOTS player for the League Gun uh, and an 84 with low chemistry for the Latin America or MLS guaranteed. The 86 was a nice rating, I thought, but somehow they, they like, what, whatever the opposite of juiced is, they like, I don't even know what you would say. They just like restricted the packs so that they were terrible. Like I watched so many people open League Untots guarantees today, whether it was on another stream with a share play or just somebody posting it in like the Discord or on Twitter. And there was just not very many good pulls today from those SBCs. I saw a lot of like Verratti, Thiago Silva, Abdel Hamid, Slimani, Rajkovic, Kamara, Andre, those types of guys from this SBC. And I saw a lot of, of the, you know, lower tier Latin American MLS tots as well from this SBC today. Uh, and I want to talk about SBC fodder uh, a little bit because I sold a couple things today that were inflated. Uh, like I think I sold a Leno today at like 5,000 coins. He was up from what I bought him at like two days ago when he was like 4K or something like that. But it looked like around the market today, uh, it was like hit or miss with some of the fodder. And I, I want to kind of talk about that. I'll, I'll, okay, never mind. Nice little undercut there on Leno. Uh, but it looks like today some fodder went up and some fodder did not go up. And I want to talk a little bit about that today. So it looks like 83s went up a little bit. It looks like 84s, at least some of the 84s that I saw yesterday. Like yesterday I looked at uh, Javi Martinez at uh, 4 point, like 2K and I was like, hey, this is not a bad buy because this is a guy that, as you can see, has gone up a lot in the past weeks. Uh, but he was at 3.7K. He went, he's already up to 4 two last night i think did he rise today at all and has just come down already it was 5.2k oh wow and then he actually dropped off as people probably sold him uh when the spc came out i think what happened today is we you didn't see cards like this rise that much the 83s and the 84s with the good links that we're used to seeing rise you didn't see those rise that much because i think what happened was today with the guaranteed latin america and um MLS guaranteed right here this SBC there was only 45 chemistry required to complete this SBC which is very very low compared to what they had last week for the air divisi I think was like 65 or 70 uh chemistry and that's a huge difference 45 chemistry you can get away with a lot more I guess you could say lower quality cards less cards that link together uh, because that's a really low amount of chemistry so that's a lot easier to do and a lot cheaper and uh, that's why I think you didn't see some of the high rated rise today. But if we go back to Footbin, the 85s and some of the 86s definitely did rise today. Um, the 86 is not a ton, but certain ones did. And then 85s across the board are up at least 1,000 coins from yesterday. Some of them are probably up even more. Uh, you know, 8,000 coins here, 8K here. Lopez is 8.2K. Uh, I think he was probably, he was in the 5,000 coin range over the weekend. So if you bought some of these 85s on the weekend or even early in the week, you probably were chilling there. I think these might've been the biggest risers today. I don't know much about the 82s. If, if like, well, yards of ball rose, I, I don't know too much about those. I wasn't following those, uh, but it did look like some of the 85s. 85s look like they did the best today uh, in terms of the fodder. So speaking of other things that did well today, what I talked about in yesterday's video about trading these cards uh, with the guaranteed SBCs, uh, when they come out, people like to buy them afterwards. I made a tweet about this as well today. I bought these two Osamans for 170,000 coins right before the content drop, and I bought this Lala at 340, um, which was like a 5k undercut right before the content drop as well. And they boomed a lot of these League One team of the seasons, the ones that are uh, desirable, usable, and OP, I guess you could say, really shot up in price today. 
uh, not not the big three guys, more of like the middle tier, right? These guys shot up today right after the guaranteed SBC because people didn't pack them in the guaranteed. So this is again where they people start to go out in the game and start buying cards. You're like, wait, why are these rising before weekend league rewards? They really start buying. They they start rising before weekend league rewards because people are now more informed about the market, uh, especially if you're playing at this time of the year. People are more informed about the market and they're going out and making more wise decisions because they're they're buying early. But all those people that buy early, uh, you know, end up rising the price because there's more people going to buy early and that just causes the market to push up earlier. And also, um, people just want to start building their teams after they get the guaranteed tots in their club. It looks like this Depay has, has since risen or has since dropped back down from where he was. He was 440k uh, three hours after the SBC came out. You can see he went from 400 to 442. This is going to be something that you could look to trade with tonight. With weekly rewards coming, there's going to be a bit more supply on some of these cards and still more people that want to go out and purchase them. If you see this Depay hit like 390, like 400 is almost close for me on the PlayStation. If you see him hit that 390 threshold again and maybe like th like maybe a 15 to 20K drop on the place on the Xbox, um, there's going to be an opportunity to buy some of these cards again in the first couple hours of weekend league rewards after that, after they are released because they get supplied from the elite team of the week packs. Now today's going to be a big day for elite team of the week packs because you're either going to get absolutely nothing and make 90 K with these three guys being <laughs> your guys in the pack, which would be really bad. Or you're going to hit somebody big. If you hit a Depaya, Di Maria, Marquinhos, Awar, Sanchez, you know, you're making a couple hundred thousand coins, which is a GG. And then, of course, if you hit a tall, if you hit Neymar, Abape, Ben Yedder, then you just hit the jackpot and you're making millions. So that uh, there's kind of like it's like a there's two ranges for weekend league rewards in elite plus packs this week. It's like you've got the top tier range, somebody who gets insanely lucky, packs one of the big three or a tall and then the bottom tier range where it, people pack maybe like Savonier, then Slimani and Rajkovic, and you're making like 130,000 coins or below. And then a few people will probably hit in the middle with maybe an Awar in there. And, you know, an okay pack for elite packs today is probably going to be like Awar, Savonier, and Slimani. And you'll make like, <laughs> you'll make like 300, 400,000 coins. So, you know, it's just not a really great week for the elite packs. But next week is going to be really really good for those elite packs, which is why I think you're going to see a market rise today. But I want to talk about the market as well, because I noticed something as I was watching people share play rewards or not rewards, watching share plays of people that were opening um, packs today, aka the guaranteed packs. What I noticed was people are freaking broke. Nobody has coins on this game right now. So many people are reliant on what happens with rewards today uh, to get them some coins, to, to open some packs or whatever it may be. People are riding thin right now in FIFA Ultimate Team in terms of coins. So many share plays that I saw sent to streams that I was watching uh, today were just crazy amounts of people under like 200, 300,000 coins, which is, I think, attributed to the amount of upgrade packs that people have done this week and just the amount of coins that people have sunk into those upgrade packs. Now, does that scare me that we're not going to have a market rise um, today with weekend league rewards? No, it doesn't really scare me. But again, I would really suggest if you're looking for some last minute weekend league rewards flips, right? This card looks really, really good to me right now. He's 60,000 coins. I've been buying him just over 60K all week. Looks like he's getting sold off a little bit heading into weekend league rewards. I'll buy a couple of these right around 60K. Do I have any more with the hunter? 66 with a hunter, 61. I'll take that. I've been buying this guy under like 63, 64,000 coins. See if I can maybe snag that one on bid. Um, but this is a kind of a guy that I like for a cheaper budget. Maybe more of a casual player would be buying this player for the weekend league rewards. And that's why I told you guys uh, for Thursday flips this week, try to focus in the under 500K range just to be safe because I think a lot of people are running out on coins, which was proven to me today. So what are you going to see today on the market with week and league rewards? You're going to see a rise in a decent amount of the market because people know that this weekend they are playing for ultimate team of the season rewards. Ultimate team of the season is going to be out on Friday, uh, tomorrow when you're watching this video. And that's going to be a big driver for a lot of people playing week and league again this weekend. It's going to be probably pretty sweaty out there, just like it was last weekend, because people will be knowing that, hey, 
the rewards I'll be getting for playing the game this weekend are going to be ultimate team of the season rewards. However, EA is going to make that look this year, whatever they're going to do content wise. Um, it's still ultimate tots. So that's a pretty crazy, um, pretty crazy amount of possibility for hype and just like elite packs. Like this is the weed. If, if you're going to get elite, this is probably one of the best weeks to do it just because of the number of high coin value cards that are going to be in ultimate tots uh this week for rewards and stuff like that which is going to be the cards that are going to be re-released back into packs so i do think you're to see a market rise today but i think you want to get out of a lot of your cards um sooner rather than later a lot of the cards that i've invested in, you see my coins are down to like 1.5 mil i've got a lot of cards on my transfer list that i'm going to be flipping for rewards i've got a lot of them listed up for sale here um a lot of these guys i'm probably going to try to cash out on them Thursday night or Friday morning because I want to be mostly liquid going into Friday where I can possibly trade with a few cards around the, the content drop if there's possibly some panic selling beforehand or if there are, um, you know, lightning round deals that I could be could be finding. And then also, I just don't want to be involved with any cards because a lot of team of the season cards are going to be dropping lower, especially in the weekend league sell off for this weekend. And over the course of the week next week because if you think about it this way um if if nothing changes with ultimate tots ultimate tots is a one week promotion and that one week promotion after this week of weekend league a lot of people are thinking uh team of the season is done you know these tots cards this is my last week to get something good and the, then then fifa's done right to be honest, a lot of people are probably going to be going broke this week with whatever upgrade packs that we get during Ultimate Tots and like full sending it because the game is about to be over. And the game is probably going to lose some hype after this week if Tots is over and EA doesn't change anything with how they're going to do Ultimate Tots. So that's why I would be very, very uh, adamant about selling a lot of your cards at some point this weekend. I think you do want to do that because the... The re-release of TOTS cards into packs, as we saw last year with uh, Ultimate Team of the Season, it basically, it just drugged the whole entire market down with it. As people were losing coins, doing upgrade packs, people were losing coins from everything else that was going on SBC-wise. They usually drop some pretty good SBCs during Ultimate Team of the Season. Uh, and then also, the just the price of TOTS cards drags the entire market down out of pack special cards, gold cards, literally everything gets drugged down because hey, why would I use another Premier League, Premier League center mid or cam when I can go out and buy this card who was once 500,000 coins before he went back into packs, 393, he goes all the way down to 200,000 coins, right? Think about what 200,000 coins would have gotten you early on, earlier on in the year. Uh, this year even think about car like what was 200k earlier in the year versus what is 200k now like a lot of these tots cards are going to drop in price a ton if they do get re-released and even the ones that don't get re-released are going to drop a lot because hey uh you know we have a striker dibala that is 600,000 coins let's say he gets re-released right and he drops down to like 400,000 coins what do you think is going to happen to a guy like lataro martinez who's another syria uh, Italian striker, he's going to drop as well because why would I pay 975 for this when this guy's dropping to 400,000 coins? It's just going to be a lot of dropping prices over the the end of the weekend with weekend league sell-off. And I honestly think it could start earlier on, um, even on Friday, as the people see a lot of these TOTS cards going down and going down, they might, instead of rocking with the cards that they have um, already, they might go out and just try out some of those TOTS cards that are pretty new, right? Um, or that get re-released into Ultimate Team of the Season. So uh, in the par part of the reason I think cards are going to go down too is because, again, this goes back to the point that nobody has coins right now, or a lot of people don't have coins. Uh, what, what coins are going to be used to buy those cards and keep those prices higher on the market if there's no hype after this week for Weekend League and if people are broke to begin with? Now, some people are going to open packs this weekend during Ultimate Tots. They're going to get coins in their club because they're going to put FIFA points on because it's ultimate team of the season. Some people have saved up packs. There's going to be some people that hit it big this week for whatever reason they pack a card or whatever, and you're going to see them, you know, have some more coins and they're going to be, there is going to be some coins pumped onto the market this weekend, but I do think you want to get rid and, and cash out on a lot of your stuff, unless it's a part of your end game team 
uh, and you're not going to change your end game team for the rest of the year. You're just going to roll with it and you're fine and you're, you're content and you're happy with your FIFA ultimate team. Uh, I think I would cash out on, on tradable cards that are in your team. I've got Tellez tradable. I bought him for 388,000 coins, I think. What was my actual buy price on this card? Uh, 385 is what I bought Tellez for. Pretty sure right now he's on the market at 500,000 coins, right around 500K. Um, this is a card that if, uh, you know, somebody gets into the ultimate team of the season, if he gets into ultimate tots, he's going to tank a ton. Uh, but this is somebody that I'm never going to sell because I'm going to be using him in my team for the rest of the year. You know what? It's 300,000 coins. I don't need that 300K. He's going to be in my team for the rest of the year, so I'm not going to sell him. But if I had that Griezmann tradable, if I had that Richarlison tradable, I would be shipping them out this weekend. The earlier, the better, because I really think you're going to see a massive, massive sell-off on the entire market this next week of FIFA Ultimate Team and the weekend league that ends. Because again, it's kind of an end of team of the season. That's like the last weekend league that people will think they're playing for the TOTS rewards. Uh, because there's going to be probably nothing coming out later than that unless EA has more info for us. Uh, and then, yeah, it's just kind of like towards the end of the game. Last week in League to play for, people don't have coins. So if they want to do whatever upgrade SBCs are going to come out during Ultimate Tots, they're going to have to, to sell some stuff to be able to do those as well. So, yeah, I think it could get really ugly next week on FIFA Ultimate Team, which is why I wanted to talk about that today. But again... Four rewards today. I do think you will see the market kick up. A lot of people have been telling their, uh, a lot of, you know, maybe Patreons or just advisors out there that advise on the foot market have been telling a lot of their people to buy icons this week for weekend league rewards. I've seen a lot of icons rise already. I think that's going to hinder some of the rises that these have naturally with rewards tomorrow. This Essien card, I bought one today at 232. And you can just tell that a lot of people have bought this card. Look at this right here. We have how many cards listed right here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six cards listed right here all at the same time. Look at the time doesn't change in the bottom. That is somebody who has bought this card, invested in them, and they're just listing them, them all up for lazy buyers right now. Like they're listed 50, 60K overpriced. That tells me, and that is a prime example that somebody has invested in this card, right? Now, you know, five, six cards, that's not a big deal, right? But the fact that a lot of people have been saying, hey, buy French icons in particular, we've already seen a decent amount of rise in some of these cards. I bought a Blanc on Monday for 400K. I sold one today to a, I thought it was a lazy buyer. It actually wasn't a lazy buyer. His price actually had 465,000 coins earlier today. I think he's 440 now, but... People are investing in these icons to flip for Thursdays. There's still going to be some deals out there, but I might stay away from the French ones. If you're trying to find any last minute icon deals, kind of like I am tonight, I'm going to go unassigned on a lot of rares um, for upgrade packs tonight. But I'm also kind of taking a peek at some icons. If I already see them inflated, I'm not going to mess with them. I'm really not going to mess with them because I think a lot of these cards are already inflated because people have started investing in them because they think they're going to be good Thursday flips. But if they're over invested in, that's going to hinder their rise for sure on the market today. So just be careful with that. But again, if you've got Thursday flips again, I think you want to sell them Thursday night into Friday. Um, and then you're good to go for, for, uh, ultimate tots on Friday, late Friday should be a fun weekend. Good luck with your rewards, right? Good luck with your rewards. And good luck if you're grinding the premium SBC today. I'm going to be buying, again, as I said, I'm going to buy a bunch of rares here in the next few hours uh, and go on a sign big time so we can have a big, big pack opening on the Twitch channel. That link is down below in the description. I'll be streaming there tonight, trying to pack Mbappe, Ben Yedder, Neymar. You know how it is. Trying to pack some league on team of the seasons. Get this tots counter maybe until like the 90s. I mean, that'd be pretty sick. If we could hit 100 tots total in, in terms of all team of the season, including ultimate, that would be dope. So hopefully we can make a good run on that uh, with all of the packs. But again, good luck with your rewards. Good luck with your reds, your elite picks, your elite packs, all that kind of stuff today. Hopefully you get Ben Yedder, you get Neymar, you get Mbappe, all the big boys. And I think we will see a decent market rise today. I just think you want to get in, the, you want, want to get your sales out decently soon before we see the mass chaos of this weekend and a lot of stuff going down even further. So that's the video for today. If you guys enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel. If you are new, it's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.